Hello, and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing the most common mistakes healthcare providers make when writing Nexus letters for veterans VA claims. So, let's get started. First, let's quickly recap what a Nexus letter is. A Nexus letter is a critical document that connects a veteran's current medical condition to their military service. A healthcare provider expertise and support are invaluable in helping veterans obtain the benefits they deserve. Unfortunately, Many providers unfamiliar with the VA claim process make certain mistakes when writing Nexus letters. Let's go through them one by one. Mistake number one, lack of VA-specific knowledge. One of the most common mistakes is not having a good understanding of the VA claims process. Each claim requires specific language and documentation that aligns with the VA's requirements. It's crucial for healthcare providers to familiarize themselves with the VA's terminology, guidelines, and the specific elements that need to be addressed in a Nexus letter. This knowledge will greatly enhance the credibility of your letter. Mistake number two. Inadequate detailing. Another common mistake is providing insufficient detail in the Nexus letter. To support a VA claim, it's important to outline the connection between the veteran's current condition and their military service. Include specific incidents, dates, locations, and any other relevant information that can help establish this link. Providing a comprehensive account of the veteran's symptoms and their impact on daily life is crucial. Mistake number three, lack of medical evidence. Failing to provide adequate medical evidence is another common mistake. The VA requires medical evidence to substantiate a claim. A healthcare provider can greatly assist by including relevant medical records, test results, and any other supporting documentation that strengthens the nexus between the veteran's condition and their military service. Remember, Medical evidence is key in helping the VA understand the impact of the condition. Mistake number four, failure to address the criteria. A mistake often made by healthcare providers is not specifically addressing the VA's criteria for establishing service connection. Each condition has its own set of criteria, and it's important to clearly state how the veteran meets those criteria in the Nexus letter. Be familiar with the VA's requirements and ensure that your letter addresses them appropriately. This will strengthen the case and increase the chances of approval. Mistake number five, lack of collaboration. Collaboration is key when writing a Nexus letter, but it's a mistake many providers overlook. Reach out to the veteran and ask for their input. They can provide valuable insights about their military service and how it relates to their current condition. By working together, you can create a stronger nexus letter that encompasses both the medical perspective and the veteran's personal experiences. Mistake number six, insufficient explanation of service connection. Another mistake is failing to adequately explain the service connection. The Nexus letter should clearly establish the cousin-effect relationship between the veteran's military service and their current condition. Describe how the specific incidents or exposures during their service directly contributed to the development or worsening of their condition. Providing a strong link between service and the current medical condition is crucial. Mistake number seven, lack of supporting research or studies. Many providers overlook the importance of supporting research or studies when writing a Nexus letter, including relevant medical literature or scientific studies that support the connection between the veteran's condition and their military service and significantly strengthen the Nexus letter. This demonstrates that the relationship between the condition and service is well documented and supported by credible sources. Mistake number eight, overlooking secondary service connection. Secondary service connection occurs when a veteran's current condition is not directly related to their military service, but it is caused or worsened by a service-connected condition. Healthcare providers sometimes overlook this aspect. It's important to consider and address the potential secondary service connection in the Nexus letter. Explain how the service-connected condition has led to or exacerbated the current medical condition. Mistake number nine, 
lack of clarity and consciousness. A mistake that can weaken the impact of a nexus letter is a lack of clarity and consciousness. Avoid using jargon or complex medical terms that may confuse or be difficult for the VA reviewers to understand. Instead, communicate your points in a clear, concise, and easily comprehensible manner. Use plain language and ensure that your message is easily understood by both medical professionals and non-medical personnel. Mistake number 10. Not addressing counter-arguments. Lastly, healthcare providers sometimes fail to address potential counter-arguments or anticipated objections in the Nexus letter. It's important to anticipate and proactively address any potential doubts or alternative explanations that the VA reviewers may have. By acknowledging and refuting these counter-arguments, you can strengthen the Nexus letter and demonstrate that you have thoroughly considered all aspects of the claim. By being mindful of these additional common mistakes, healthcare providers can write more effective nexus letters for VA claims. Take the time to understand the VA claims process, provide sufficient detail, include supporting research, address service connection and secondary connection, ensure clarity and consciousness, and anticipate counter-arguments. Together, we can help our veterans receive the benefits they rightfully deserve. If you found this information valuable, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. And if you or someone that you know needs a Nexus letter, visit www.literalmed.com to get a free case consultation with a physician. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video.